before we see what fed said in fomc speech few more famous line for few second let's see what all of those fomc member except powell what they said between last two fomc meeting that's mean after blackout period before blackout period for example fed william possibility of lowering rate in early 2024 while now fed is saying rate cut will start in september 2024 and this is big change they are saying early 2024 now they are saying late 2024 like this one from waller it is clear that monetary policy lag are shorter they are saying monetary policy lag are shorter but now same fomc is saying more than one year long rate pause if lag effect are shorter then why that very long rate pause let's see what fed said in fomc never intending to send signal on timing of any rate cut so fed does not want to give any signal on timing of rate cut energy price are very important for consumer if energy price increases stay high will affect spending may affect inflation expectation when cpi and ppi came inflation expectation was down everyone was expecting the expectation will go up but that did not happen so a small change in inflation expectation will affect market or if they keep going down then this is good sign for fed and for market especially cold trader energy price when sustain can affect inflation so either up or sideways oil price both are bad for inflation fight look through short term moves in energy price saying short term but not telling which time frame daily weekly or h4 mostly they watch monthly time frame don't need to be in hurry to get a conclusion about what need to do so they are free and enjoying their life no hurry if ordinary people die or he spend his entire life in poverty no hurry it looks like we had a bit of turn of inflation in june injection hole he said peak inflation while cpi came very high this was the reason gold went up because fed was saying inflation has peak but cpi was going up and he did not say anything about oil and energy price and now he is saying there is a problem from high energy price and inflation is going up again because fed gave a wrong forecast just before cpi number and now he is not saying peak inflation he is saying turn of inflation so fed has doubt on his one month old forecast swap market showing first cut to september in the beginning cut timing was may when they did hockey pause in june fomc meeting then it shifted to july and gold made low at 1884 but now rate cut timing is shifting for september 2024 so here two thing are possible either this forecast is completely wrong or gold is trading at wrong place it should be trading at 1860 so wait till november fomc meeting 
let's see which thing proved wrong there september rate cut for cast or gold price but one thing is wrong we will do everything we can do to achieve the goal so they tried everything A strong dollar reducing balance sheet size rate hike size from 25 to 75 and now still saying will do everything i would not want to say acp is plan so their forecast from acp is not a plan that is a forecast that can change that's mean rate cut in september with the inflation goal closer we have ability to move carefully in jackson hole meeting he also talk about careful monetary policy decision and now he is using that word again so rate pause is all about careful monetary policy decision unofficially their new target is 3% and read some history they hide their 2% inflation target for so many year now they are doing same thing this is their hidden 3% new inflation target pc and cpi both are trading between 3 and 4% that's why he saying inflation goal closer it is also possible that if path to soft landing has widened it may be decided by factor outside our control maybe this is first time fed has doubt on their soft landing forecast this is central bank imagine what will happen when crowd of belu investor think soft landing is not possible time will come at some point that it is appropriate to cut rate in previous fomc speech he said when he is comfortable then he will cut interest rate now he is saying that appropriate point is not there so they are waiting they are not in hurry when they think is right time to cut interest rate then they will cut and now they think september next year is best time to cut interest rate and any decision about future rate cut will be about what economy need they said all the time data dependent but this time they are saying what economy needs if economy weak economic collapse start then they will cut interest rate because a strong economy does not need rate cut next strike government shutdown resumption of student loan payment and higher long term rates are among risk so these are the risk which can change soft landing into hard landing an important thing is he is saying higher long term rate that's me 10 year bond yield which made high at 450 last week he is saying high long term rate or risk then why he is doing hawkish speech because problem is they cannot say directly they want you to make poor they want recession you bought you tax still they want you to poor it is possible a government shutdown could curtail some of the data we get we have to deal with it so government shutdown will happen and not it is not important but fed has given warning about all of that data soft landing is primary objective that we have been trying to achieve so people who give 100% correct forecast of transitory inflation people who successfully managed housing bubble 2008 economic collapse now these team 
have a objective of soft landing so don't worry same like transitory inflation and housing market collapse they will achieve soft landing rise in long term yield mostly not about inflation expectation so oil went up cpi went up two time and fed is saying it is not going because of inflation expectation so same like silicon valley ceo have blind faith in fed forecast that higher yield 4.5% 10 year bond yield is more about growth and supply of treasury because china and many other bricks country are dumping their treasury but it is not because of inflation expectation if economy is stronger than expected then fed must do more ecb bank of england and fed if you see their interest rate chart then that is vertical and they are still saying stronger than expected economy while they are not saying not forecasting what happen to economy when interest rate goes up in vertical line now let's see their acp fed official site september fomc meeting monetary policy statement which you can read if you want press conference video which you will never see and their projection material so this is summary of economic projection in short everyone say acp now let's see fed forecast june fomc and this fomc meeting terminal rate no change 5.6% that's mean rate pause again in this fomc meeting and next acp will come in december month so until december you can expect rate pause while one fomc member is saying two more rate hike this year for next year 2024 their rate is changing from 4.6 to 5.1 ten year bond yield high was 4.5% last week now they are saying 5.1 so economic indicator comes strong this week then 10 year bond yield can hit 5% then in 2025 they are saying 3.9% interest rate that is also higher than june fomc meeting so they are forecasting long term interest rate up more than june fomc meeting so this was the reason 10 year bond yield is flying sp500 is collapsing because all those company who are built on 0% interest rate they cannot survive 5% interest rate and that timing is increasing and that was the reason gold came down vertically from 1947 level because their economic projection is always wrong that is highly political they are not showing what will happen after vertical interest rate hike and dot plot see the path it's going towards 2.5% so lowest interest rate for next year is 425 and highest is 625 for next year let's see what happen but same as their forecast thing will not happen